It's a horrible day. Oh, he's going inside your jacket, Jock. What do you think of this? What would you choose? I think I'd go for the shed as well. Blackie's on good fettle, big sheep actually. Glad I bought them. Come by, come by. Ah, ah I knew that happened. These Shetlands. I honestly thought that was some sort of Shetland. It's the same markings. Wait to see this sheep fans. Good morning, sheep fans. Cami's the name. Sheep's the game, and today. Day is miserable, but you guys love this regular farming stuff I'm doing and I'm going to do plenty of it this winter because there's not that much exciting stuff happening otherwise. Some scanning, dozing, making sure my sheep are fit and healthy and plenty of grass in front of them is of course very essential. So today we're going to be dozing some sheep. It's a horrible day, hopefully we pull the audio together okay. If you're enjoying these videos, please do click that subscribe button. The channel's growing incredibly and it's all thanks to you guys. Let's get the pen set up. Quite extreme for a little jog, is it not? Inside. You don't even have a jacket on, Lizzie. Oh, he's going inside your jacket, Jock. What do you think of this? Now, before anyone worries too much about young Jock, not that young Jock, that's he's he is now big Jock. Jesus! Do you hit that there? Did you kick that there? Was that just me? <laughs> oh, we tried to at the same time. <laughs> that, well, that was embarrassing. Uh, so. Before anyone uh, worries too much about young Jock, bear in mind that Genghis Khan was born and bred in Mongolia, where the winters are far harsher than this, so it'll be fine. And if you want them to take over the world one day, you're going to have to breed them a little bit harder, I think. <sighs> what a day. Now, in an ideal world, what I would do is I would put the drone up and find these sheep here, like I did previously when we had the Shetlands up at this bit. But... It's not an ideal world. It's a horrible day. The drone would never survive, so we'd just have to kind of walk it on foot. A quad bike would also be great. Here we have some of our native Scottish blackface in their natural habitat of hard country. Off they go. Don't know where Meg went. I sent Meg round them. Oh, no, that's not Meg. But it, there's, no, that's not Meg either. I don't know where Meg's went. Jock has his dogs with him today. Here's you in here, Jock. Oh, here's a couple here. Just try to make sure we get all the sheep here, folks. Very difficult, this, this bit of ground, because you can't see anything. Oh, here's the top. They will not be liking this weather. I should actually have probably taken them home. Right then. Oh, snow in the eyes. She's a bit of blood about her tail. What's that about? Unusual. Very unusual, actually. Unless the top's got a bleeding willy, which is not a good thing if he does because he's probably not doing a lot of work with it. Bit of an incredible discovery here, sheep fans. We have shound, shound, my lips are getting cold. We have found a, a pocket of Shetlands who embarrassingly still have their lambs. I think there's four or five of them and they're trying to break away from us again here. Where's Meg? Wee, wee. Problem is the dog can't see them. So I'm sending her away, but it's hard for her to come up on them because she can't see where they are. So we need to get round in front of them here. Oh, they're going to break away from us again. And this is the problem, like we have gathered this ground with the drone. 
But these little Shetlands, even with the drone, quite hard to see. The colour of the rushes here won't be too crazy dissimilar to the colour of the wool, really, from the sky. And they just will not work for the dogs. They're just heading straight for this far corner of the field. We want to be away over that corner over there. Hopefully Meg's seen them now. Way That's Lizzie in front of me, in case you're wondering. Charging on, superwoman. Hey! No, Meg can't see anything, that's the thing. None of the dogs can see, that's the problem. Should I get in here with a lawnmower? Eh? Whose idea was this? Oh, if Jock wasn't here, I'd have went home already. <laughs> oh my god, my brain there, I couldn't work out what was happening there. Wait to see this, I could not work out what was going on there. I honestly thought, I honestly thought that was some sort of Shetland, it's the same markings. Wait to see this, sheep fans. That'll be fleshy enough, good prime lamb. Hey, we could get that in as a Shetland. Hey, how do we pig? I doing, Dugs? How do we pig? We'll just leave you to it. Could you chew up some of those rushes, please? Oh, there you go. Something you don't see every day whilst out gathering in a blizzard. Oh, I totally sh my brain there. I, I, when you shouted me, I was looking, going, "What's wrong with that sheep?" <laughs> um, so yeah, I suppose now would be a good time to say thanks very much to Sandy Brock for the shout out last week. What a boost that gave me again. She's really been a big driving force behind the growing numbers on my channel, along with the Hoof GP, of course. Trying to turn the favour a bit. If you want to see some really good, efficient sheep farming, have a look at Sandy's page and give her a follow. Fantastic, massive follow, and she's just the queen of sheep on YouTube. And another thing would be a good time to address right now is I, I do get messages, you know, maybe questioning a, an all-indoor in system, but you have to think from the point of view of a sheep. If I was a sheep, and Lizzie, if you were a sheep, and I gave you the option between being outside on a Scottish winter or being inside a nice barn in Canada where you're well fed, well looked after, there's no liver fluke, worms aren't an issue, what would you choose? I think I'd go for the shed as well. That's the thing with um, a lot of these, you know, herbivores, ruminant animals, like cattle and sheep. As long as they have a dry bed, a full belly, and no fear, they're really happy. The good thing with my sheep is they don't know any different and they're hardy and they're used to this kind of weather. Just like us Scottish people, and, and English, and UK, the Welsh are hardy, the Northern Irish are hardy, Irish, just, hey, all you farmers, are hardy, and anyone watching the sheep game, I'll get you as a hardy badge. <laughs> what? Oh, some sheep there too. Stop talking, pay attention to what I'm doing. My dad! My dad! My dad! Woo! My dude! My dude! My dude! My dude, Bill! Steer! Steer! How are you? How are you? My dad! Come back! Come back! Hey. We have the sheep. Well, all the sheep we're getting today. I'm not going back for any more. I think we've got them all this time. I'm going to show you these Shetlands. As a farmer, quite often we don't want other farmers to see us making a mess of things but you guys are so supportive of the good and the bad to be honest it gives me the confidence to just show you that we missed all these shetlands and if you go back and watch the video we had two quad bikes someone on a horse three four dogs and a drone and we still missed them and anyone that's worked with shetland sheep before will know that that's that's not that surprising because they're they are wild sheep look at these shetlands here Look at the lambs, the lambs are bigger than the mums. And this, the way this uh, the landscape is here and how awkward these kind of sheep are. I've tried doing this myself before and it's an absolute nightmare, so whenever I can now, I just get Jock to help. That and he's got much better dogs. I don't know if you hear him, he's whistling there. And there's Lizzie running to stop. He's whistling there and in days like this, whistling's pretty essential because your shout doesn't travel very far. So Meg, when she's away from me, won't hear me at all today. So we've just got her here. 
ready to cover the inevitable breakaway. Early Meg, early Meg. Oh, looking good though. Come by. There's the Shetlands at it. Come by. Come by. Come by. Ah. Oh, I knew that time. These Shetlands. These Shetlands are wild. Early, come by. Early Meg, come by. Come by. Oh. We. Right, guys, I'm going to need to put this camera down and focus on this here because this isn't going to be easy. Look, hey. Lie down, Bill. See ya. Get up. No, steer. Come by. Go, go. Early go, early go. Early. Come by, go, come by, come by. We got. We got. You get it in there. I'll take it this way a bit. There's a little snowman in there. I said uh, Genghis Khan uh, was, didn't have a wrestling jacket to protect him. Oh, they're trying to still break it. Hey, let's go on with this. So here's the Shetland lambs here. Look at these things. A tremendous fettle as well. I'll probably just take them to market. Oh. And you can see that the ones that haven't been shown. Early Meg, early Meg. Shh, 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 shh. Blackies on good fettle, big sheep actually. Glad I bought them. And that, that Shetland in there. And this is what happens, folks. This is what happens, they get a double fleece here. Now the Shetland wool's quite a fine wool. It's not such a heavy wool, so this sheep will actually be all right as she is just now. Don't panic about her. We will try and take some of the rough of it off, but today is not a day for that. In fact, to be honest with you, we're going to take these sheep away from here because now that I've got her, I'm not letting her go. And we actually didn't even get them all. One broke away with her lamb and just would not stop for the dog or us and just, it was a nightmare with the rushes, so there's still one running wild here. Hear me now, I'll never put Shetlands up here again. I love Shetlands and, and the hardiness of them, but I'll be honest, I'm not looking forward to working with them again, so probably won't.
What a day. Not a day for working outside, I tell you that much. Oh man, it is cold. Lizzie's out there. And the mad woman she is. No gloves on. I'm a jackknife in too hard. Just keep going. Don't worry about the paintwork. Here it comes. What a day. What a day. So that's kind of us, sheep fans. On a positive note, I have five or six extra lambs that I didn't know I had. And for comparison, I sold lambs the same as them out of Shetlands in the previous video. Hopefully it's been out. They sold for £107 at 36 and a half kilos. It's quite amazing. So finding five or six extra lambs like that in a year like this is actually quite impressive. Now these lambs haven't been shown, so I guarantee you they won't sell. For They're actually quite fleshy, which kind of makes a farce of the whole worming them and things like that because they've had nothing and just run on this rough ground. So fantastic. Because they haven't been shown, they've got that long wool. They don't look as good. No tight skins like the ones you saw in the previous video. So I guarantee you, they sell for a lot less money. They'll probably go for, for nearer the 80 pounds. So that's that's potentially another massive benefit the shearing that tightens the skin up. Probably the next video you're going to see, these will be in the lot going to the market because I'm not gonna try and put them somewhere else to try and have to gather them again. They're obviously too wild for a lowland farmer like myself. So we'll get them away and we'll see what they make. And it will actually be a fantastic example of just a pure, no medicines at all, lamb from rough grazing there that can't grow crops, like you couldn't grow barley up there, we're far too high up here, you couldn't grow peas or mushrooms for leather as we were hearing on the radio earlier. Can't grow any of that stuff up there. It's just rough grazing. They're actually gonna plant that in trees. But that's the ramblings over there, sheep fans. We're just coming out of this farm track here now. So thanks very much for watching this one. Hope you clicked that subscribe button. This is uh, the farming life. We love it. Do we love it, Jock? We love it. We love it. And uh, we wouldn't swap it for anything, even on days like this. Well, we'd swap it for a warmer day. Aye. I'd swap it, we'll definitely swap it. Or, or just sitting in the house, I'd swap <laughs> it for that. Aye. I'd even be a police officer again. It was better than this. <laughs> <laughs> That's us for this one, sheep fans. See you for the next one. I was going to say sleep fans.